scary Yobo Shu streams terrible Steam games. You'll shriek and shudder in surprise when he launches the game night gate. Hello, I found some more Steam demos. They are vaguely horror themed because we're getting close to Halloween, so you know. I figured maybe make it a spooky type stream could be good. Who we got? We got D Saws. Thanks, D Saws, for subscribing. It can be Honey Dijon Sauce, because it's D Saws. So some kind of a D Sauce. Commissar, WK, Greg, Zach, Sam, Tetanus. I've got a nice Gollum picture for you. I think you'd like it. Ooh. I want a nice Gollum picture. Barry Londis, Fusro Duck, hello, hello. We're going to play this hit game, Nightgate Demo. Not the full thing, because the full thing is 15 bucks, but they have a demo. Watch this. This is going to be an epic prank. Ready? Want to see a hilarious prank? This is going to be really funny. Ready? An open world of vampires? Is this Redfall? No, it's just Nightgate on Steam. Use an airboat to explore a post-apocalyptic swamp overrun with vampires in this retro-style open world RPG. That was funny, because you, you thought it was going to be Redfall, but it's not Redfall. I have Evil of Fate. Evil of Fate, we're probably not going to play, because Evil of Fate looked like it was a Resident Evil clone, but then it turns out it's a Dead by Daylight, and you can't play it unless you have, like, people in a server. So that's not going to happen. We'll play Nightgate and Phantom Peak, though. Phantom Peak looks not terrible. This one looks like it has some effort. Nightgate does not look like it has some effort. Here we go. Dangerous Bob Studios LLC presents... Please, thank you very much. Please apply that. Now it's a little too quiet. That's some porous wood. Well, you know, it's been it's been like rotting. It's like a rotting sarcophagus for a hundred years. Maybe the wood has gotten uh it's gotten damp. This is a pretty slick intro screen. Look, there's a weird bat. Here we go. Ready? Ready for the horror of Nightgate? Now, this game is rated M. I don't think it has a rating, actually. But if it had a rating, it would be rated M. So beware. Could be too spooky. Nightgate, more like new game for casual players. Yeah, I'm a casual player. I'm not really in the mood for a real challenge from Nightgate. Let's see what Nightgate has in store for us here. Once upon a time, the global warming made the gas station be underneath the swamp. Grendel. Oh, Grendel. The name every child learns to fear. Oh, I hate Grendel, dude. His blood-sucking armies of vampire mutants waited centuries in slumber. But as the earth warmed, oh, it was global Beowulf. warming. I was right. Nice. Rising from the caves, swamps, and dark global corners warming of the world, made Beowulf drove turn into a real out of the story. And behind the walls oh, of the Oh hell! They say there's more of them than us now, but we still have plenty of fight left. A lifetime of training has led to this mission, which starts now, tonight. All right, let's do it. A lifetime of training, you say? As you sleep at night, you have visions of the war to come. <laughs> oh no, look out. Rawr, I'm, is that Grendel? That might be Grendel. There's Grendel's zombie army. There's the war to come. Oh, they got a catapult? Oh man, these guys are prepared. And they have... <laughs> it's D-Day? 
I think it's a D-Day type scenario. Alright, hit him with the MG42. Oh, last stand. Oh my god. Okay. Prologue. Fight to the death in this tutorial. You will wake up when you die. Die. Yeah. Press control to barrel roll. Okay. There's that. Oh, here comes the ladder. Here comes the Urukai. Get ready. They're coming. Good thing I trained my whole life for this moment. Are they coming? Hello? Who are you? Are you like a robot? Oh, he's like the EOD guy. Why did, Why is he going to be an EOD guy? I'm like, I have a t-shirt. What the? <laughs> that was very fast. The nightmare to come must be stopped. Yeah, I agree. Okay, I gotta turn the volume way up. Non Kin Nator, thank you for subscribing. You can be Akinator, the famous genie website that will guess what you're thinking of. Could that guess the game Nightgate? I don't know. I don't know if Akinator could guess the game Nightgate on Steam. I think that might stump it. Isn't it like a character though? Maybe I gotta think of like a what's the character's name? What is Resident Evil Lady's name in this game? Okay, I turned the volume down way too far. I can barely hear the music. It's going for the atmospheric intro, but I can't hear the atmosphere. Welcome to Dairy Town. <gasps> Dairy Town, dude! This is where they have the butter cow sculpture. Oh my god, this is where the butter sculpture is. 500,000 people visit the dairy building. This is going to be great. All right, let's go. I'm ready. Robin Ravenwood. Okay. Can Akinator guess Robin Ravenwood? Probably not. Okay. Turn the volume up first. I preemptively turned the volume way down for obvious reasons, but it might have been too much. Let's try that. Okay. Now I can hear the pensive piano. Much better. Sleep and save. Skip time. You will nourish. Yeah, sure. I'll sleep for three hours. Saved to slot one. Okay, back. Okay, let's play the game now. Do I have a gun? Yeah. <laughs> I have a gun. I have a bit of a large pistol. Bit of a clipping through the hand type gun. What is this? Is it? Can I pull the plug? Press E to read. Half vampire ghoul, so zombies are weak to the head. The glowing heart guy is weak to the heart. The alpha vampire is also weak to the heart. Status vamped. Don't get vamped. If you get vamped, you need the purple goo. Cool to know. There's a bumper sticker that says drugs. There is the silver viper and the gold finks. Can I get like a UMP-45? Are you a gun? Change clothes. Baseball cap. Yeah, baseball cap. Tank top. Loose hair. Camo. Poncho. Leggings. Overalls. Perfect. The perfect vampire fighting. Oh, it's got like physics for the shirt. Nice. The big Please have voice acting. Yes. You in the trading room. He said not to let anybody out until he talks to you. Okay. That guy had some good lip sync, dude. Press Alt to melee. Ooh. Ooh, go for the knees. Yeah. Gotta sweep vampires on the knees. Mini map? I do love a mini map. Mini map says this is the right way, I think. Robin. Good to see you. The time for your mission is at hand. You believe the vampire Lord Grendel is amassing an army. I still can't hear anything. If I escape, will it skip the cutscene or turn the volume up? Grindle. It doesn't either. Okay. Long has he I gotta turn voice all the way up. Long has he waited in the shadows of the ancient times. You must get through the night gate first and put an end to his Sure said it, that guy. Watch tutorial on how to fight? Yeah. Alright, time for a refresher. Oh, here we go. Wait, I don't play it? Basic ghoul is just a half vampire. I don't play the tutorial. It's still half human. Shot me. to the head will kill him quick. 
Let me play it. Why is it showing a video? Who has head armor? You gotta shoot him in the leg to bring him down, and then I'm sure kick I play it, right? I'm sure that this is like playable. Right? There's no way it's just a video out, of someone toxic else playing. Ghouls. Their steamy stench will vamp you if you get close. <laughs> Don't get vamped by their steamy stench. Alright, some ghouls. Always oh, a legionnaire ghoul. Weapons that they've acquired. Shoot the weapons out of their hand and then pop them in the head quick to take them down. A lot of ghouls in this red hallway. Watch out for the white ghouls. These ghouls can sprint at you with great speed. That's not that great of a speed. Throwing weapons I'm gonna be are faster honest. than reloading. You can hold a primary and secondary weapon. Your secondary weapon you have to aim to fire. With your primary weapon, you can fire by aiming or from the hip. Ooh, hip fire, okay. All hip right, fire crossbow. You're good. Alright, can I play now? Let's play. I probably hit the lever and play what he just said, right? It's gotta be. Yeah, demo time. Alright, I got him. It seems darker in here than it was in the training video. Alright, he that's like the leg guy, and then you melee him, right? Right? Don't you gotta like make him yeah, there we go, and then you melee him. That counts. He sounds like your Bellathor impression. Everything's for sale, my friend. Everything. If I had a steamy stench, I would sell it in a second. Look out for the gladiator. Get out of here, Russell Crowe. Why are they making Gladiator 2? It's gonna be a weird movie. There's like no chance that'll be good, right? Oh no. Oh, I got vamped. Oh god. I've been vamped. Oh, there's a demo time remaining on the top there. Okay, so it's just a full game access. Ooh. They're just giving me the full game. That's cool. And I have like 40 minutes to play it. And I have the crossbow. How do I equip the crossbow? And how do I get unvamped? I gotta drink the vamp toxin to become unvamped. Is there even vamp toxin here in this training room? Ooh. Okay, did I did I win? Does that count as winning the tutorial? Oh no! <laughs> oh no! I didn't know it would let me kill him. Oh man, I got vamp, dude. They de they deployed the EOD guys. The EOD guys do not mess around. They hurt lockered me. Is it going to put me by the bed? Yeah, I'm by the bed. I have the gun now, though. That's good. Do I still have to do the demo, though, since I have the weapons now? Oh, it, that didn't even count as demo time. Okay. Bounty board. Ancient vampire. Yeah, give me the bounties. The chief's lost his mind! Oh. Robin, I'm trying to get work done here. Okay, sorry. Crates can be broken for loot. Got a water bottle. Let me turn the voice sound effects up more. The voice acting is the best part of this game so far. Uh, sound volume, SFX volume, I guess both. Just don't want the music to be overwhelming. Hey, How about a game card? Ow. I just hit myself in the face with the door. There's the world's worst mirror ever. Why even bother having that? Is this going to be like a functional mini game? Play a game of chance game for of $50. Sure. Cheek. Not enough funds. Oh, I have zero dollars. Okay, so I can't do a game of skill. Can't go in there. Let's say you minimap. Minimap says... I mean, the objective is not there. How do I leave? How do I leave the base? That's my new question. This is the training room over there. Uh, there's a car over there. I guess I go left to the car. Do you have a reflection or are you a vampire? Oh my god, you're right. Maybe that's why there's no reflection. That's why there's no working mirror. Oh, that was 50 bucks. Hang on. That's enough money. Can that hurt me? No. Nah. Now I have enough money to play a game of chance. 
play game of chance. Here we go. That one, number Try two, to baby. Find the Ace of Hearts. Number two. Nope. Number two. Yeah, there we go. Nice draw. Here you go. Thanks. Come on, can't you see him working? Is dollar bills still worth much in the vampire apocalypse? Probably not, right? You probably need caps like Fallout. Probably need like gold bars and like water. The big cheese wants to see you in the trading room. He said not to let anybody out until he talks to you. Okay, I gotta do the training again. It's a pretty Starfield tier voice animation. He looks like a real guy talking. Crap, where was the training room? Buzz off. Was it over here? Yeah, here he is. Robin. Good to see you. The time for your mission is at hand. We believe the vampire Lord Grendel is This would be a good engine for Vampire the Masquerade, too, walls. yeah. That game will never come out. Grendel They've been making Vampire the Masquerade, too, for like 30 years. And long has he waited in the shadows from the ancient times. You must get through the Night Gate first and put an end mm, I know. I'm aware, Mr. Guy. No, I do not need tutorial. Just let me go do it. Oh, objective is exit dairy. So do I not have to do this? Do I not have to do the combat minigame? Yeah, the objective is leave. Okay, well, I need the crossbow, though. But I have the crossbow. Because it's somehow... Oh, wait, I can't leave until I do the tutorial. Okay, hang on. You cannot leave till all the zombies are dead. Take that, deado. Fall down. Lying on the floor. There we go. Look out for his stinky stench. I like his explosion. It's pretty good. Vampire the Masquerade Player Unknown Battlegrounds. Well, Vampire the Masquerade already has a battle royale. You joke, but that is a game that came out. Okay, I killed all the zombies. Oh, there's more. It's the fast guy. Ooh, I was close. He was so quick and speedy. I got the crossbow again. Does she just have, like, a cape that has a picture of a crossbow on it? I think she does. I think her little, like, poncho thing is just, like, a crossbow. Man, I love crossbows so much. My whole personality is crossbows. I will draw a crossbow on my shirt with a crayon. That's how much I love crossbows. You will get hungry over time. Oh god, why? Why do I have to get hungry? Are you the food guy? Got any food? Welcome to the shop. Always oh, got the anti-vamp. I need that for sure. Uh give me some garlic. Garlic acts as body armor. Oh, okay. First aid. Uh, canned food for the nourishment. Alright, looking pretty That'll good. Do. Thank you. You're welcome. Sleep and save. Eh, I should probably save, right? Good progress saving time. Save the fact that I beat the little tutorial thing. Dress for the job you want. Yeah, I guess so. I've always wanted to be a crossbow person. Ever since I was a kid, I wore a shirt that said Survivor and had a crossbow. Everyone laughed at me and told me the vampire apocalypse sponsored by Grendel would never happen. But who's laughing now? Here we are in the open world. Read me. Believed to be located along the Mississippi River in the former United States, the bayou lies inside the Night Gate and offers relative protection from vampires who have trouble crossing open water. Over time, a network of human communities was established at all trade and protect each other. All right, so the zombies can't go in the water. Or vampires, sorry. Vampires can't go in the water. Mm-hmm. 
That is the boat I was walking towards. Is that jet engine on the roof of the house? Is that like supposed to be our power generator or are we just running a jet engine for no reason? Cause it seems, that seems a little bit inefficient, you know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, here we go. Game just got good. What the, how do you steer? Okay, I think I know how to steer now. We're going to the city, there's a the city. We gotta head into town. Is there gonna be like a passageway? It seems like there's a gate up here. Let me into the town, please. Quarantine area, one way. Night gate. Oh, there's the night gate. The game is called Night Gate. That, that's it? That's the famous night gate from Night Gate? Is this that thing? Right, how do I dismount? Oh, boy. Not what I wanted. All right, get me up there. Get me up to the famous night gate from Night Gate. All right, Z is dismount. Z. History of the Night Gate. Oh boy. No thanks. An outline of a snake. It must need a key. Okay, so to get through the Night Gate, you gotta find both of those weird medallions. I can't move. Oh, I can move. Okay, good. Alright, map. What do we got? Oh, it says go through the Night Gate, but I can't go through the Night Gate. Uh, train. I guess I'll go to the train yard. Let's go train at the train yard. Choo-choo. Is that a train yard or the smokestacks? Hang on, am I going to the right spot? I'm going towards the train yard. Yeah, I am. It's extremely dark outside here in the bayou. We should, uh... Can we get some moonlight, please? I think the outline of a snake, it must need a key, is not going to go away. I think it's just going to be here forever. I have a flashlight, though. That's good. All right, hop aboard the train express. Oh. Oh, fast travel spot. Okay, good. Save me about 10 seconds of using the terrible boat. That boat control is weird. You can't steer unless you're going forward, and then you can steer by looking with the mouse halo style. It's very strange. The security gate needs 12 volt battery. Does that mean I'm not going in here yet? That probably means go check out one of the other zones, right? Where did the boat go? Where did the boat go? Oh, there's the boat. My guess is that one of the other zones will take me to uh, the battery store. Let's try the veil. That's not, oh, well, it got green. Oh, it's daytime. Nice. Day night cycle. All right. You're watching Day Night Cycle Gaming. Let me know if you see a radio shack. Don't you dare block me, trees. Haha. -ha. Where is the entrance to the veil? Where do I park my boat? Is she even on the boat? Okay, yeah, she is. I see her. Oh, trees. Don't you dare, trees. Ah, the snowy peaks of Louisiana. They are famous for their mountain range. All right, here we go. Let's do it. There's gotta be a radio shack around here somewhere. Another fast travel. 
Is there anybody inside the haunted barn? Can I kill a single, like, zombie in the open world? That's the real question. Can I find an enemy to kill before the demo time is over? Can you sprint? Oh, yeah, you can sprint. Nice. Look at that camera shake. Does she have stamina? I think she can just do it forever. Good. Hello? This looks like the Borderlands 1 zombie DLC. Here's a hint. That DLC sucks. Oh. Grendel? Could it be Grendel in the flesh? Oh. What? Why'd I get teleported to the Purple Mountain's majesty? The Veil. Oh, that was like a fast travel to the Veil. Okay, I thought the Veil was like that one swamp. But no. It's like a whole thing. Ahead is Edgar Horse Ranch and Silver Mine. All right. I will kill Edgar Horse because the game already established that I can kill friendly NPCs. So I'm going to probably kill him and break the quest line. That's my plan. They weren't kidding when they said half a mile. Oh, God, rain. Look at the rain effects. It just, it feels like someone is just like pouring water over the camera lens. It feels like somebody has a cup of water and they're just like dumping it onto the camera lens. That's a weird rain effect. Bit of a strange one. Alright, here's the ranch. Here's Edgar's ranch. This Edgar's safe room. Go down? Yes? I mean, I can't say no to a sewer level. Oh, sleep and save. Okay, sure. Ain't no rest for the wicked. Except a designated save points. Oh, it's nighttime now. Not good. Now I can't see nothing. I should probably just sleep till it's daytime, right? Uh, it could be kind of atmospheric, visiting Edgar during the nighttime. And he goes, who goes there? You're not a skag, are you? I wonder if at night the vampires come out. Is there a brightness setting? Can I turn the brightness up? Graphics, 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 gamma. There we go. Oh my god. That's a lot of gamma. I mean, keep it up. Yeah, there we go. Gamma. You're watching Gamma Gaming. Oh, you can't visit him during nighttime. Oh, come on, Edgar. Oh, Gollum. There's Gollum. Beware Gollum. Oh, hell. Here we go again. Can I have my bolt back? No, I cannot harvest the bolt. Okay, so I guess just go sleep until daytime is the strat. Probably just shouldn't have slept at all in the first place. Z, Z, Z. Like how your nourishment gets replenished by sleeping. Uh, how exactly is that supposed to work? Am I dreaming about an all-you-can-eat buffet? Is there stuff down here I can have? Can I have any of this? Oh, I can. Nice. It wasn't just environment detail. Dreamt that was it a CC's pizza. Mm-hmm. Had some of that apple pie pizza. That stuff is pretty good. The apple pie pizza at CC's is just the apple pie. They forgot to put the top layer of dough over. They just forgot to put the top on that thing. 
I haven't been to CC's in probably over a decade, but the last time I went there, they had apple pie pizza and it was pretty good. Read me. Welcome to Edgar Ranch, a mining town. Alright. Should I kill him? I really want to just kill that guy. Will the Edgar Ranch spawn EOD guys? Do they have an ordnance disposal hey unit you. here? Come over here for a second. I've been having trouble at night. Bats attacking my pigs. Uh -huh. I can use the hand and defend it. Would you be up for it? Commit to guard the pigs? No thanks. Alright, sorry to bother you. Yes. Oh, wow. That was nice of him. Sorry to bother me. I'm the one that bothered him. Commit to guarding the pigs at night. That sounds extremely boring. Buy a room? I don't want to buy a room. What the? Is there a cat over here? Your loot, right? Yeah. There's the farmer Edgar himself. to the shop That'll can't do. afford Thank the m4 you. all i want is the m4 i'm not gonna guard the pigs long enough to earn the m4 though buy a room and shove the pigs in there that's a good idea can i influence the pigs can i move them no if i could shove the pigs then unironically buying the room and shoving the pigs in there would be some great emergent gameplay. But I can't influence the pigs' movement. Oh, there's the cat. Come here. Is it even running? Yeah, it has, it has an animation. Animation is a strong word. It has two keyframes. Alright, how do I get into the horse ranch? I gotta get into the stables. Talk to the rancher and obtain a horse. Long way from home, swamp girl. Shoot or challenge? Your mine shaft up on the hill, past the windmill, collapsed in on itself about two months back. What we need is some TNT. Okay, good to know. That was his only information. Okay, challenge to a race. Let's race. Let's do it. We'll have the Ocarina of Time carrot bar. If I win, do I get to keep the horse? That better be how it works. Faster. Faster. Go. F what is it? What? There we go. I think I just lost. I think I just lose because I can't, like, catch up to him. Or maybe he sucks. Yeah, he sucks. Okay. Okay. Oh, he can block me? Come on. <laughs> Look how he's... We're just hovering over it. Aha, he got stuck on a branch. Idiot. What a fool. Yeah, I'm the winner. All that time in Barbie's horse racing paid off. Well, a deal's a deal. Here you go. You can take old Alfie up there. He's the brown one. As a reminder, you can press the whistle button to You can call your horse, horse Breath of the Wild style. Okay. What are you doing, Swamp Girl? How is Alfie treating you? Alright, you take care, Swamp Girl. Swamp? That's kind of mean, Swamp Girl. I mean, I am from the swamp, but Swamp Girl? Come on, man. Oh, the horse is so much faster. All oh, this improves the game greatly. One thing that can be said about this game is this game is ambitious. It's definitely an ambitious title. Pay the toll to pass? $2,000 to pass. Screw you, dude. You're lucky I haven't saved my game in a while. I wonder if we go up there and get, like, a mine. Maybe you can, like, mine ore and get infinite money. Maybe that $2,000 is a return on investment type deal. Maybe that's what justifies the high price. Yeah, I'm stealing this horse. This horse is mine. Bye. See you later. Can you save in the... They can only save at beds. Okay. Is there something else here? Besides, like, the town? There was the horse racing track. So there's, there's probably not, right? It's probably just a town in the racetrack. Yeah. 
Wait, can I even use the horse in the swamp? Hang on. Can the horse even be used in the swamp? Because it's like a horse. Can it swim? I have the boat. Can I put the horse on the boat? If I can put the horse on the boat, that'd be good. This game has it all. You can defend pigs. Uh... Uh, you can race horses. You can do that. All right, will the horse be able to swim? My guess is no. Oh, she's going to get off the horse. Come on, man. Is the horse... The horse cannot go behind this point. This game sucks. So the horse is just for the veil map. So what's the point of the horse? To move around this giant empty field faster? I guess if you get $2,000 and go into the mine, then maybe that's worth it to run to the mine? This is the kind of game that has some real nonsense logic in order to actually finish it. This is the kind of game that makes you kind of want to play the whole thing just to see what kind of weird crap you got to do to win. But then it costs 15 bucks, and you're like, mm, 15 bucks for this, though? I'm not really sure about that. But I am curious what it takes to fight Grendel. Oh, the stupid ugh, nighttime. Alright, let me go to the safe house. Stay here, horse. Don't leave while I go nourish myself. I gotta go get nourished. I wonder if demo playtime is tied to save file. Like, I wonder if I close this game and relaunch it. Can I, like, beat the... Can I beat the whole game in the demo time limit? Do one of those classic, uh, like, Smash Bros. Brawl type speedruns? Can I learn the game over the course of many demo playthroughs? Because it looks like all you have to do is find the two keys and then go kill Grendel. If you know what to do, that does seem doable in, like, 40 minutes. Well, I thought it was going to be daytime. Oh, my God. I didn't sleep long enough. I want to attack the fort and see what happens. Guess I'm gonna sleep a little bit longer. I want to see if the ranchers have EOD bots or if they have a cowboy revolver. Not EOD bots, EOD guys. EOD bot is from Battlefield 3. Will three hours be enough to pass the night time? Okay, yeah, it is. Good. I think. They could have at least given me, like, a bed frame. I mean, we're going to be spending a lot of time in the safe room. Let's make this safe room a safe home. Deer! Yeah, okay. Oh, this game rules. This game rules, dude. Oh, <laughs> deer, wait, come back, deer. I have to harvest you. Oh, my God. Did I get it? Yeah, I, I think I got it. I can see his ribs, so I think I got it. Okay, now I have deer meat. That's good. Can I stealth kill this guy? Do they know? Did they know I did that to that guy? More importantly, can I have his stuff? Give me your stuff. Nah, I can't go up there. Alright, farmer. You're about to pay for calling me Swamp Girl. You're about to eat your words big time. Don't tell him I'm here. <laughs> hey shopkeeper, give me all you got. Give me the goods. I can't. I can't loot the goods from him. Come on. 
Ah, I could, I could loot all those guns and goods if only there wasn't a small table in my way. Oh, well. Did the large sign say, read me? Yeah, it did. That was a generator. That was like an evil vampire sound. Hey there, you want to protect my pigs? No thanks. I'm good. Can I have his stuff? Oh, you can't even loot anybody. That sucks. Die, pig. <laughs> How's that for protect the pig? Yeah. Get out of here, pig. Why can't I have the pig meat? Hey, you up there. That Are you the guy that said I can't come in there for $2,000? You're out of there. Dude, this crossbow is extremely accurate. Summon the horse. Horse whistle. Where's my horse? Hello? Is my horse gonna not respond because I'm a horrible monster? Horse, come here. I got 15 demo minutes left. There he is. What happens if I whistle while I'm on the horse? You can't do it. Okay. Fair enough. All right. Well, I wiped out the veil. Not really sure if you're supposed to kill everybody. It is a good game where you can kill all the quest givers, though. Any game where you can kill all the quest givers is a good game. I'm not sure if that's just an oversight and if you're not supposed to be able to do that because I probably broke the progression. If I had to guess, I probably just broke the storyline of the game. You probably have to get into the mine to do something. Think you rode past the mine? Maybe. I thought the mine was, uh... Up by... I thought the mine was up by the other thing. Because if you go, if you go up this gate, that gives you access to this area up here. Reading way too far into this, who cares? Let's explore the last area real quick before the demo's over. And I do have a strong suspicion that if I reload, like, my first ever save file, all my demo time will be refunded. This game is an unintentional death loop. You can play it like death loop, but that's not what they were going for. Reminder, your horse can access new areas in the Black Forest. What? It can? Where's the Black Forest? Oh, down there. Okay, so I had to get the horse to go to the Black Forest. Okay. The speed run is starting to take shape. I'm starting to understand the sick, twisted mind of Robin Vampire, or whatever her name is. We just call her the Swamp Girl. Majora's Mask like. Mm -hmm. This is the right way, right? Yeah. I'm seeing a wall of shrubs. Never a good sign. Yes. Oh, there's an archway. Okay, good. Get me in there. Come here, horse. Oh, I got a flower. Okay. Can the horse access new areas, please? Do you need the horse to, like, jump over a log? You probably do. Oh, yeah, fast travel. The fast travel probably helps so much. That would really help my speedrun aspirations. Welcome to the haunted church, Black Forest. This is where all the Grendelian madness started. Let's go, horse. Let's go look at the... Wow, the earth is rotating really fast these days, huh? All that global warming messed up the rotation big time. That's the moon! That's the moon of Majora's Mask. This is worse than the time there was that undead nightmare. Is it a horse trap? What is that? 
pull back on the cable to lift the car. Okay, hang on, there's zombies. Hang on, there's zombies. Hang on, horse. Hang on, horse. Oh, I got vamped. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Guys, chill. Shoot the gun. Oh, God. Go after the horse, guys. Come on. Inventory. Use. There we go, unvamped. Should have used that save station. Out of ammo? Oh no. Hopefully the crossbow can like go to two of them. So are you just supposed to wait till daytime in this game? Oh god. Am I dead? I think I'm dead. Death has found you. Oh shucks. Ah darn. Does it have an autosave? Okay, it does have an autosave when you cross the threshold to the new area. So it's hang on, is it a whole game about like survive the vampires, but to play the game you just go into the safe room and wait till daytime when the vampires aren't here? Is that what's happening now? Like, is the optimal strategy to play this game to avoid playing the entire game by just sleeping? I think that's what's happening. Those are all the people you murdered? Yeah, maybe they came back as vampire zombies. I wish you could see what time it is. Okay, you can. It loaded in. So I still need three more hours. But yeah, I think... You just gotta sleep, and then you can bypass all the combat. Which is fine, because the combat's not good. You know, it's not really a problem. Wonder if that really slow standing up animation counts towards my demo time. Oh, it's foggy. Oh, there still might be guys here then if it's foggy. Hang on. We might have a problem here, horse. All right, what we got? What the heck? Ugh. This is not the best map. Okay, there's the church. It's, it wanted me to go to the church, so I'll just follow the road to the right, I think? Or it goes both ways. We'll go right first. Righty tighty, lefty loosey. Alright, here we are at the Jim's Fishing Shack. Jim better live here. Are you here, Jim? Well, look what the tide dragged. Welcome to the fishing hole. Hi, Jim. Do you sell the fishing minigame? Do you sell bullets, actually? That's what I really want. No, he only All sells right. the fishing mini game. Okay. You have any bullets, Jim? Go fishing. All right. Good luck. Do I even have a fishing rod? Lake View. It really is Ocarina of Time. This is just Ocarina of Time for the modern man. For the modern gamer. With distinguished tastes. Wait for a fish to bite. Come on, fish. Come bite it. Here they come. Here he comes. Come on. Come get it. He's walking around it. Why are you walking around it? Hey, fish. Bite my bait. Take the bait, come on. They're leaving, they're not taking the bait. Take the bait, you stupid fish. Oh, here we go. Hook the fish. Come here. Come here. What the? Why is the fish so strong? I'm tapping. Come here. 
There we go. Yeah, I got a 12 pounder. All right. Not bad. Man, what doesn't this game have? What are you? The fish like to hide in the weeds. Oh, okay. I gotta shoot the weeds. Should have read the tutorial first. Sun God Shrine. Some say you can trade XP for something special. Really, some say that? Day and night token can switch between day and night. That's kind of cool. Oh, yeah, I'll buy one of those. Why not? I'll take one for the road. Can I sell my fish to this guy for, like, the maximum amount of gold? You want to fish, Jim? Here you go. Welcome to the fishing hole. No, I cannot. Okay. Beat my record. Get you something special. All right, horse. I thought this was going to be the old church, but it was not. So now we must head to the old church. <laughs> Did I? <laughs> oh, wonderful. That's great. Note to self: the horse does damage when you hit stuff with it. Cool to know. Oh, it's raining again. I hate this rain. Die, dear. Oh, I missed him. Come back. No one escapes my wrath. Yeah. <laughs> Take him down. Can I go in? This is the holy church. Mystic boomerang. According to ancient lore, there exists a mystical boomerang. Huh. Go to the forest tower. Piano. Oh, here we go. Don't let me down. I have no bullet. Hang on. Ah, this game sucks. I thought this game might be good, but this game sucks. I'm sorry. I regret to inform you. This game is no good. What is this? Empty bottles can be filled to make holy water grenades? Yeah, do that. Maybe just a safe room? Yeah, it's probably just a safe room. Melee it? Yeah, maybe. Nah. Too much to hope for. Alright, that was the holy church. I thought it was going to be like a normal church that you would find in Louisiana, but it was a church dedicated to the mystic boomerang instead. Never knew a boomerang would have his own religion. Good for that guy, I guess. All right, so now if we go to the right, we'll find something. Oh, God, it's nighttime again. Oh, no. Where's my day-night token? Did it perform as advertised? Okay, it's making the night go by really fast. Nice. Best 100 XP I ever done spent. Here's the gas station. Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry, Barrel. The gas station seems abandoned, but don't let your guard down. Bullets for the handgun? Bullets for the handgun? Nah, just some beef. Uh-oh. Oh, this- oh, this is where the final battle took place. This is where the last stand was stood. Now it makes sense. It's all coming together. You sell the good guns, right? No, he sells the same guns as everybody else does. Yeah, I can't afford any of the cool guns ever. You sell ammo? He sells ammo, right? That'll do. But I have an ammo thing in my inventory. Use that. Thank you. So I have, oh, I have 50 handgun rounds now. Nice. Man, I have mixed feelings about returning to this place. Here they are. We always have to be ready. Yeah, you do. You always got to be ready. Can I use the machine gun? Yeah. All right. Does this get real crazy at nighttime? 
to a million zombies attack at night. Now I want to see that. I want to see a million zombies attack the wall again, but this time I have the turret. Hello, construction guy. What is? Does he have planks just like taped Robin, to his back? I'm to get work done here. Yeah, he's got planks just glued to his back. Okay, there's the ancient treasure. You found a rifle stock. That's probably one of the pieces you need to craft a gun, maybe. I think the demo time might run out before the zombies attack. I gotta find a bunker. Is that a wait? That's a fire. Approach the fire to light your crossbow. Ooh, Ooh flaming arrow. That's kind of cool. Make it nighttime. Make the zombies attack. Bring them on. All right, hurry up. Stand up. They're coming. Oh, uh, hell. What? Hello? You're the one that's supposed to take down Grendel, huh? <laughs> You appear to be, uh, maybe he's, like, roped in so he can't get lost. Maybe he has very low visibility. Hope your crossbow's still on fire. It is still on fire. Nice. All right, it's nighttime. Are there going to be no zombies here, though? Come on. I wanted a horde to onslaught me. What's the point of this fancy machine gun if I can't even use it? Well, no choice. Crap. Crap. Yeah, the EOD guys might be invincible. Dude, that horse ranch should have got some EOD guys. They could have used the help. Maybe the pistol can kill him? Maybe the assault rifle can. That's pretty healthy. Yeah, I can't kill these guys. Those guys ain't going down. Death has found you. Mm-hmm. That keeps on happening for some reason. I'm just trying to befriend the people of Earth. Oh, I can't leave because it's nighttime? So you can't leave during the nighttime, but you can't do anything during the nighttime. This garrisons 200 fighting men. I don't think it does. I don't see 200 men. They are encouraged to visit the stations. There's just the one gun station. There's a sleeping station. There's one bed and lots of guns. And there's like two guys. It says the fort garrisons 200 men, but then there's only there's literally two guys here. They're uh, off by 198 people. Hey, are you the one they say is going to go through the night gates? Yep, that's me. Hey, it's dangerous out there. Be careful. Oh, wow. A vampire slayer. Don't see many of you around. Their dialogue's pretty good. I think these guys are way more equipped to be vampire slayers, right? Because, like, a vampire can't even bite we through that. have to be ready. A vampire could not bite through these guys' armor. So they, they should be the ones doing the vampire slaying. I'm pretty ill-equipped. I'm wearing shorts. You can't wear shorts in a zombie vampire apocalypse. Can you kill them with a barrel? Maybe. Does the barrel explode? It's red, so it should explode. Here, have this. Hey, it's dangerous out there. Be careful. All right, here we go. Yes. Does that count as me killing him? It shouldn't. I didn't do it. The barrel did it. Yes, it worked. Oh my god, that worked. It didn't count. This game rules. <laughs> this game is so good. Any more barrels? Are there more red barrels around here? Uh, no reason. Not really asking for any reason in particular. 
Yeah, because it registered the damages from the barrel instead of just from me. Is there a red barrel in here for sale? Was there just that one red barrel? There's got to be more, right? Oh, I have 30 seconds left in the demo. Oh, no. Not enough time. Not enough time to take down the entire military. Maybe a flaming crossbow shot takes down the military guy? I mean, it's on fire, right? Burn, baby, burn. Crap. Did he not care? Does that mean I missed him? Oh, barrel, barrel, barrel. Seven seconds. Get closer, get closer, get closer. Ah, oh, I missed him. Oh, darn. Oh, it sucks. Thank you for playing the demo. Please purchase the full game to continue playing. Rank D. I got a D. Well, that was a pretty good game. Pretty good session of Lara Croft kills the Dawn Guard, yeah. This game is way too ambitious. It's not good. Like, obviously, it's not good. It was, it was kind of oddly compelling, though. Like, I do kind of want to play the whole thing. I'm sure the whole thing takes, like, one more hour to beat. I'm sure it's not even that long. But I'm not going to buy it, so... There you have it, Night Gate. If Redfall was good, it would be called Night Gate. The werewolf didn't even crush her in the little intro animation. All right. That was the game Night Gate. What's the reviews for Night Gate like? Mixed reviews? Come on, don't give mixed reviews to Dangerous Bob Studios LLC. He's trying his best. Oh, he's made Fossil Fuel? That looks good. Krampus Kills? That looks good. Fossil fuel raptor isolation. That looks terrible. Uh, fog light. That looks good. Fossil fuel 2 demo. Hang on. I think I gotta play the fossil fuel 2 demo. Is this good? I was gonna play another horror type thing, but this, this might have a dinosaur in it. Return to the ultimate Jurassic survival horror underwater. Oh my god, some nautica dinosaurs. The Megalodon? Oh, it actually is some nautica dinosaurs. Wait, that's just the anglerfish. That wasn't even like a raptor guy, come on. If it was some nautica dinosaurs with, with a shotgun... I mean, Subnautica Dinosaurs is like an instant purchase for me. There is a demo. There's a demo. What do you say? Here, let me show you the other one. The other one looked like an actual good game. The other demo I have downloaded looks like it's an actual game with effort put into it. And this one is... It's this. I'll add it to the wish list for sure. Oh, it's not even out yet. Coming soon. Dang. Use a massive arsenal of deadly weapons. Watch out for the anglerfish. Oblivion lockpicking. Non-linear replay value features multiple endings. Rich lore. It's highly anticipated. Oh, there that's what I want right there. Yeah, that's what I want. Look at that giant shark. That guy probably doesn't even die to the shotgun. So the other game that I have is a uh, Oh, look, Poached updated the game. Nice. I have Phantom Peak. Phantom Peak looks pretty good. Here, I'll show you I'll show you the intro screen of Phantom Peak. Then we can decide. Twin Peaks? Yeah, it probably is Twin Peaks inspired. If, it ha if it's a horror type thing and it has Peak in the name, you better believe that Coop is showing up. Max FPS, 4x3. Nah, give me the 16x9. Thank you very much. I kind of like the 4x3, though. That was kind of a good vibe. A good aesthetic. See, this this has effort put into it. So I think I maybe will play this one. It probably isn't that long, too. It is just a demo. Steam Scream the Revenge. Is it like a, like a Halloween sale? Oh, it's not even out yet. Okay. Okay, yeah, it wants you it wants you to play it in 4x3. The 4x3 is definitely the developer intent, I think.
But it, it says you can have widescreen because I know people will complain about my game if there's no widescreen. But you're supposed to play it 4x3. I'll do it. I'll indulge them. All right, let me go get a. Let me go get some more eggnog. No, what's like a Halloween drink? Pumpkin spice. There we go. Let me go get some more pumpkin spice, and then we will take a look at Phantom Peak. Is a thrilling shooter game set in an industrial complex. Pumpkin spice. Here we come. spice obtained halloween gaming can resume shazam has a chrome plugin really i did not know that i always forget what shazam is called like maybe three or four times over the course of a standard year i'm like what's what's the name of that thing that like you can you can like sing the song and it'll guess it and i always forget what it's called it's never very helpful I mean, it is helpful, but I don't remember what it is. Hopefully by having this conversation, I will now know what Shazam is for the rest of my days. Does an energy drink YouTuber have a pumpkin spice drink? Uh, I don't think so, but he does have a new video. You know, we're watching that.
But not yet. First, we gotta play Phantom Peak. We gotta take a peek at Phantom Peak. My phone creepily tells me what is ambiently playing at all times, really? Is it, if you have the Shazam app downloaded, will it, like, figure out what song Walmart Radio was playing? You are listening to The Bow Show. Would you like to add The Bow Show to your favorites? Uh, yeah. Duh. All right, enough stalling, enough stalling. I'm too afraid to play Phantom Peak. I gotta, I gotta get over my fears. Phantom Peak is a thrilling shooter game set in an industrial complex. Dun, dun, dun. Look after the monster in the Phantom Peak. He's gonna get you. It's a pixel feature. Okay, I don't have a pixel. I gotta get a different phone eventually, though. My, my phone is, uh, it's slowing down big time. I'm getting planned obsolescence in a major way over here. Boom. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. That was Twin Peaks, what do you think? Oh wait, sorry, it's not Twin Peaks, it's Phantom Peaks. My bad. Move, Wazda, all right into it, nice. Hey, that's, that's the train! That's the train from the beginning of Phantom Peaks. Okay, I'm vlogging. This is a vlogging type game. Hey guys, uh, here I am at the train yard. Uh, I heard this was the haunted train yard, so I thought I would come over here and uh, get attacked by a zombie. Hopefully I find just a pump action shotgun with not quite enough shells just laying on the ground. Uh, e, Z, A, what are the controls? Show me the controls. Just sensitivity and that's it? Okay. Uh, I'm gonna continue hitting buttons. I'm gonna keep hitting buttons on this until it works. Can I crouch under it? Oh, here we go. Here we go. Crowbar. Nice. This is a good game already. Open up train. Hmm. Did I go back in the tunnel now? Is there like a thing to pry? No, that tunnel is all concreted up. I saw a video about how some directors I like. Some directors like 4x3 for the cinematic scariness factor. Like the director for the Vavitch likes it better. I'll just go through here. I'm so stupid. Stupid gamer. F for flashlight. Yeah, 4x3 is definitely a total vibe, dude. Do you have a gun? Oh, I, pro I think I just grabbed his crow. <laughs> I wasn't supposed to go under the train. I grabbed his crowbar from under the train. Whoops. Yeah, I like 4x3. Four 4x3 four can be good. I've never met a single human being who shared this opinion with me. But the show The Wire... Like, I've watched The Wire because, you know, The Wire is the greatest show of all time. The show The Wire is better in 4x3. But if you go on HBO, Max, whatever stupid streaming thing they call it, all they have is, like, the HD version. That's, like, the 16x9. So that's the way I watched it. I watched it in the 16x9. But when you go on YouTube and watch clips... People uploaded the YouTube clips in 4x3, and like the 4x3 is way better for that show, in my opinion. I'm just crouching under the train. Yeah, choo choo. Pick up that can. Do you have a gun? Do you have a gun? Do you have a gun? No. <laughs> the v -v Vire? Mm hmm. The famous horror show about McNulty. Oh, the hound. The hound of the Baskerville die. Ow, ow, dude. Bro. Oh, here we go, now we're in business. Good thing I brought my operator gloves. 
Is it like a head mounted camera, I guess? Since I got the pistol now. Oh! There's something moving in the water. Die. Killing floor zombies. Oh, the killing floor zombies are killing me. Hang on. Zombies. Oh, God. That was not good. Hang on. <coughs> I was trying to hold in a sneeze while fighting killing floor zombies. That was never going to work. I can't, I can't multitask. I can't figure out how to crouch under the train. I can't sneeze and game at the same time. Never sneeze in game. It's not going to work. Don't do it. Do kill this dog, though. Crap. I wanted to get the gun first. Is there any more gun ammo? Maybe only headshots kill the zombies. Maybe it's one of these. One of those headshot type games. What happens when you sneeze while driving? You just die. That's how you just end your life. That's why driving is so uh, dangerous. Can I make that maybe? Nah, no chance. All right, let him do his animation because you probably can't kill him until his animation is done. I'm gonna go for the headshot and we'll see if that works. Okay, the headshot does work. Wow, that's brutal, dude. Imagine an airplane pilot sneezing, yeah. Instant nosedive towards the ground. Okay, so those zombies are not messing around. Can I, like, strafe the dog so he can't get me? What's my hitbox? I, I gotta be on him. I lost so much health there. Not good. Pistol ammo? Pistol ammo? Nope. Can I push the red barrel into the zombie water, maybe? Nope, they don't. Do you blow up? They don't blow up. Maybe the gun blows them up. Not willing to risk a pistol shot on it, though. I have plenty of rounds. Plenty of ammunition. Maybe I can use the pipes? Maybe I can use the pipes to, like, jump up there. Am I supposed to, like, kite these guys? Oh, I'm so slow. I'm so slow. Get out of here. Ooh. That's what I call survival horror. I barely had enough to get through. Hmm. I gotta crouch through here, right? Yeah. I only have two shots, so don't give me another zombie in here. I can't kill him. Oh, there's the creature. Do you see the creature? Oh, wait, no. It's just weird, weird lighting effect. There's the creature. It's those things. All right, two headshots killed him. That's good. Really could use a bullet right about now. No power? Uh-oh. I don't think the crowbar was applying hit stun to the zombies. So if the zombie comes and attacks me, I don't know if I have a counter. Maybe the volume is a thing? Maybe I have to like be quiet? Maybe they can't hear you? Because there is a there's a volume meter up there. They wouldn't have that if it did nothing, right? It's gotta do something. I'm just gonna keep crouching. Crouching seems like the best option here. Game save. Never mind. I'm running. I'm sprinting. I'm reckless. I'm reckless. Reckless and wild. They pour through the turns. Their prowess is potent and secretly stern.
Are you not a wooden box? I guess not. Oh, you're a jump up on top of me box. Okay. Does you have a CRT filter? Yeah, maybe. That might, that might be a little too far. But also, it, I wouldn't be surprised if it had a CRT filter. A CRT filter would make sense. Give me shots. Give me shots. Give me shots. There we go. I have enough to kill two zombies if I aim real good. Can I open the locker? Nope. Sometimes things are stored in the lockers. Always good to check. Another? Can I dual wield or is this ammo? Just ammo. Okay. Oh no, I alerted the horde probably. Oh, there they are. Oh, the horde. Wait, reload. Hang on. Okay. Oh, the horde. Where's the horde? Come here. Oh, the zombie. Ooh, close call. The terror is real. I hear more of them. Crap. Zombie, I'm running low on supplies. Can I just, like, kite him? A little circle strafe action. Yeah, how do you survive this? Yeah, you have to trade with the zombie. If you don't have any bullets, you have to trade with the zombie. Is it really, like, get the headshot or you don't win? Because it's not even that easy of a headshot to get. Their head is bobbing a lot. Very strict on the old resource requirements there. Maybe I just run? Yeah, maybe I just leave. I just won't fight him. Open up loot crate. I already know which one of you guys has the good item in it this time. Load the gun. Battery on. This guy jump scares. He's dead. Barrel? No. That was too many shots wasted. Crap. I have 75 HP. Okay, you can do it. You can do it. Okay, it's not a trade. This guy dark souls him. Souls like genre. Souls like genre. Souls like genre. Come on, dude. How much health you got? This is worse than the skeleton in the graveyard. Okay, we got him. Now the power is open. Is that guy going to get up? That's one of the ones I killed already. But is he going to, like, turn back on? I guess not. Are you loot crates? Now nah, you're just cardboard. Nothing good's ever stored in cardboard. There we go. That's the good stuff. That's a nice solid oak. Handgun ammo? Wait, that, that said handgun ammo on it. Why is there no handgun ammo? Did it not say handgun ammo? Maybe I can't read. Oh, here we go. Quiet time. Never let them know you're here. This is a good test to see if sneaking is a thing or not. Backstab. Okay, the backstab worked. There we go, now we're in business. I'm gonna survive this horror so hard. Oh, yeah. I'm surviving big time. Still no handgun ammo. What was that ammo box that I grabbed then if it wasn't handgun ammo? Those guys down there spawned again. Interesting. Thriving horror. Yeah, seriously. Until my three more shots are gone. Once these three bullets are gone, it goes back to being survival horror. But right now, I got a shotgun. Right now, I feel powerful. 
Uh, let's try right. Big mistake. I mean, the shotgun should like aggro everybody, right? Because it's like the loudest guy. Med kit, okay. That said handgun ammo, right? Yeah, okay, good. The handgun is back in business. So it was going left, like an optional thing, I guess. Here's the real question. Can you sneak up on the dogs? Do they have keen senses of smell? They can't be tricked by the usual schemes. Stealth kill. Perfect. Imagine crowbarring a dog to death. That'd be terrible. That's a horrible thought. I don't want to think about that. Will the dog hear me if I open that crate? He might. That might create volume. Something good for my troubles? Nothing at all. Come on. That box was bait. So much for my troubles. Are you good for my troubles? Dude, my troubles. Come on. Oh, here's a boss battle. Here we go. What are we fighting? What's the deal? Game saved, uh-huh. I bet it did. Is that shotgun ammo I got? Maybe it was like, yeah, it was shotgun ammo. Okay, good. I want the shotgun ammo, that's better. Uh, I guess I gotta climb to the next platform before the waterbound ghoul gets me. That's my guess. Yeah. All right, what are we dealing with? Where's the water guy? Let's see him. Oh, is he, is he gonna knock it down? Oh, he's knocking it down. You jerk. Uh, fall damage? No, good. Can he knock it down, actually? Oh, we can. Ah, it's the creature. It's the creature. Run. Run. Kill it. I probably gotta get over there. Yeah, I probably gotta get to that weird tower over there. Can I just run to it, honestly? Can I just dodge and weave him? Oh, we trick. Oh, he does not get dodge and weaved. He won't be fooled by such simple tricks. Okay, so you gotta jump on these platforms, I guess. I wish it would have made the save game after I got all the resources back. Loading up the shotgun makes me feel better, though I doubt it does much. Let's try again. I guess this one is next. Hey, you stop punching my pillar. Really wish my guy was faster. This guy is not fast at all. This guy is slow going. All right, there we go. I win, right? Is there like an electrify the water button up here? Can't get me, ant lion. See you later. Nice try, the horror, but I have succeeded. Phantom Peak Demo. All right, that was Phantom Peak Demo. It's fine. It kind of feels like playing a Half-Life 2 map. Looks very similar to Half-Life 2 type vibe. It'd be better if it was more of a Twin Peaks themed game, I think. They gotta add in the double R diner, then the game will get good. 
All right, that was like a one second long game. I was hoping that'd be a little bit longer, but it wasn't. Didn't have much to offer, to be honest. It wasn't a very convincing demo either. Let's, let's just be real here. Didn't exactly inspire great confidence. There's another update for this. He updated it yesterday, dude. This guy's always updating his poached Hunt the Hunter game. Crucial update. Made games overall volume louder. Fixed stitching in between terrain tiles. Made poacher dialogue <clears throat> louder. Missed enemy bullets will now create audio as they whiz past players' head for increased immersion. That sounds kind of cool. Adjusted possible maximum music volume slider setting. Optimized hippo navigation. Dude, he optimized the hippo navigation. Not as much content as Tattle Quest. Yeah, Tattle Quest have much more to offer. Decreased anti-bunny hop. Dude, he, he like changed like 50 things in this. That's an insane change log, honestly. Drone control now deactivates after Bird Scout has finished mapping location. Fixed issue causing tutorial to start after new game overwrite. Neatened appearance. Did he add the music to the bird? I want to know if the bird beeps. I want that bird to beep. Optimize bird flock scaring. Added more descriptive clues to wave two. Improved drone collision. Is there a full game available of this yet? No, I don't think so. But he did just fix 60 things. So there were literally 60 updates in that dev list. I think it's still early access. But apparently there is an ending. An ending does exist. But my, my problem is that I have, my save file is Venomed. So I'm not really sure how I can get around that. Opilla bird beeps. Oh, you mean Opilla bird's like scream sound effect like that? <laughs> like that one. Opilla bird, I have it installed still. I didn't refund it yet. Opilla bird. And I want to play some more Opilla bird. Speaking of horror, speaking of true terror. Opilla bird. Opilla bird. The time has come. I didn't delete it yet. I should have. Where is 4? I thought I bought 4, but I don't see 4 in here. Gar 10. Yeah, okay, I do have 4, unfortunately. Gary's Mod. I wish I was playing Gary's Mod. Trouble in Terrorist Town? Funniest moments? You won't believe these moments. Unbelievable moments. Okay, Opilla Bird. I guess I'll give up. Maybe now that I'm not tilted, now that I'm not raging, maybe Opilla Bird will be tolerable. Probably not, though. It's that stupid turtle guy, dude. That turtle guy is killing me. Yeah, that guy right there. Now he's just going to kill me with the tongue, right? Yeah, great. Oh, God, this game sucks. The only reason I booted Opilla Bird back up is because I was informed that I'm like five minutes away from beating Ban Ban 3. Like, I'm about, like, this is like the ending, I think. One of my friends told me this is the ending, so I mean, I might as well. Might as well kill Opilla Bird, I guess. Not worth it, though. Alright, turn on the button, come on. I still don't understand what it means by, like, sound activates the button. Does it mean the spit blob? Is that what it means? The creature's roar? He's roaring. Oh, that one's active now. Great. Oh, yeah, I forgot the drone. Oh, God, the drone can't go far enough. Because Garden of Bandman sucks. And yeah, my friends are known for telling me the honest truth in regards to Ban Ban. Hey, can you hit the button, please, drone? What? Oh, my God, dude. Why wouldn't the drone hit the button? The drone doesn't work. The drone doesn't work, and the loading screen is, like, five hours long. It's a deadly combination. 
a horrifying concoction. All right, drone, get oh, it's not active yet. Ugh. And the button's still not active. What? I don't understand what turns the button on. It's got to be the tongue latch, right? It has to be that. Oh, that button's on. So is the button randomized each time? I guess it's just randomized each time. Oh my god, it goes through the fence! Why does it go through the fence? There's a fence there. Wow, that didn't take long. <laughs> it didn't take long for me to get extremely tilted by Ban Ban again. Ugh. This sucks. This game sucks so bad. I can't even believe how bad this game is, dude. It's just terrible. Alright, where's the button? Can we turn a button on, please? According to the bylaws, one of them is supposed to activate right now. Okay, it's that one. Ugh. Okay, at least it can't kill you on the ricochet. At least only the original blast can get you. Alright, get it, button. You can do a drone. Go, robot, go. Did it do it? It did do it, nice. Speed is essential. There we go. Die. Alright, there's one. Hit him again. Alright, where's the new one? Where's the new button? Do you really have to use each one of these buttons a single time? So I really got to solve what exactly is aggroing the button because I have no clue. I haven't the slightest idea. Okay, it's just that one again. Okay, I think it is just random. That's huge, actually. That one's really easy to get. Did you hit it? Where's my firework? Okay, it's, it's waiting for me good. Give me that firework. Get me out of here. Here comes the tongue lash. The slam-o. And then get him. There we go. That's two. That's two. Oh, that's two. This is the closest I've ever gotten. I've hurt him twice. He's hurt two times in this attempt. Dodge the blast. Okay, there we go. Where's the button? Come on. Come on, O'Pillow Bird. Give me the button. Please. Okay, the button is active. I repeat, the button is active. The silo doors are open. Give me your best blast. Dodged easily. Give me the firework. Come on. I'm so close. Give me it. Okay. Now dodge the tongue. I'm dodging. All right. Rule of thirds, baby. Three hits better kill him. He's not dead from three hits. Okay, great. I know he is dead from three hits. Oh, thank God. Yeah, fall off the cliff into the abyss. Oh, I hate this game. This game sucks. All right, so that wasn't actually that hard. That was really easy. I just got frustrated when the tongue got me last time. I may have been extremely tilted by Bam Bam and had to take a couple days off to finish that boss battle. That's not going in the video, though. Nobody will ever know that it took me over 48 hours to beat this. Oh, yeah, birthday hat. Uh, all right, birthday hat. I guess that's something. Oh, <gasps> it's the drawing. There's a green guy in that drawing. Whoa, that's the lore of Ban Ban. They don't want you to know. Okay, now I have to remember how to navigate this terrible Ban Ban level. I already forgot the whole thing. Time to be hopelessly lost. Oh, yeah, that guy. That guy does something. Wait, I got birthday hats. I guess birthday hat is what I need to make him go? 
Yeah, okay. We hate you. Or get banned, banned. I wish I could ban, ban this game from being Three sold on Steam. Come here, a pillow bird. We hate you. Or get banned, banned. We hate you, or get banned, banned. Three stones with one bird. Hand over your pancreas. Hand over your pancreas. Hand over your pancreas. Three stones with one bird. We hate you, or get banned, banned. Three stones with one bird. This is the ending credits Hand footage. Hand over your pancreas. We hate you, or get banned, banned. Hand over your pancreas. Alright, activate a pillow bird. Is that aggro the tartar bird? Oh yeah, I forgot that it's tartar bird. A pillow bird is the purple one. Behave or get banned, banned. Does that not count? Go get him. What? Hi. Did I pick it up? That bird has to jump down and I gotta hop on it, it says. I want to jump down. Jump down. All right, grab the child. Will that do it? Hello, Tarta bird. Can you jump down, please? Okay, I got the child. Now Tarta bird should come down, right? I got your bird, Tarta. Where did it go? It left. Oh, there it is. Get it. Get it. Yes. Oh, yeah, I'm on Tarta bird. Here we go. This is huge. This is huge. I'm right. Oh, a pillow bird. Run. I have a pillow bird's kid, Tarta bird. We got to run. Empty your hand first. Okay. How? How? Like this? Yeah, there we go. Okay, let's, let's get out of here. We got to flee before a pillow bird gets me. Right? Oh no, why do I get the feeling Jumbo Josh is coming? Oh no, it's the jellyfish guy. Dang it, where's Jumbo Josh? Where's JJ? I know I said I hate Jumbo Josh, but I do like Jumbo Josh more than this guy. I refuse to accept it as your protective parent or instincts. Oh, I know. Someone has given you false hope. Uh huh. Promised you what you want when all along they had one thing on their mind. My pancreas. Pancreases. Oh, it actually is pancreas. First, I was confused by how everything was this is just a game where the evil Play-Doh guy wants your pancreas. That's, that's the horror of Ban Ban. And then oh no. Someone has to have been guiding you. And as with most things, I was right. It did have help. Your oh, stop talking. Helped me tremendously. Stop talking right now. Thanks to him. I bore witness to very vital information. What information, you ask? Well... Oh no, he killed Ban-Ban. Oh, Ban-Ban. He dropped Ban-Ban ban into the hole. R.I.P. Ban-Ban. Your voice acting sucked. Hold W to speed up. Yeah, speed up, obviously. Can I steer? Can I steer? I didn't read the rules, crap. Okay, I think, I think the rules is that... Oh, yeah, the rule is that Opilla Bird has to win the red race. That's the rule. Stay away, Ban Ban. Don't do it, please. Ah, oh, man. Ban Ban got me again. That guy really wants my pancreas. Halo music over this? Yeah, da 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 So I guess it's, uh, I guess I just have to, like, stay right next to the pink Opilla bird. Is it going to make me watch the guy talk again? Okay, good, no. Okay, race rules. Blue light equals I have to win. Pink light, they have to win. Okay, hurry up, come on. Go ahead. Opilla bird, hurry up. Okay, good. Go pillow bird again. Go up pillow, go. This is so epic, dude. 
This is more epic than when I escaped the Pillar of Autumn in Halo. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Ba -ba -ba -ba. It's a race to the finish. Only one of us can survive this Garten. And it's not going to be you, O Pillow Bird. It's me and Tartar Bird. We will clearly escape. Actually, I need you to come open this door. Slow down. Slow down. O Pillow Bird, you got to cross the line. Oh, God, no. O Pillow Bird. O Pillow Bird. Oh, we failed. Dang it. We can, we can still just leave. We'll have to wait for this guy. Okay, so you gotta instantly start slowing down. You can't slow down enough. As soon as you see what color the door is, it's an instant slow. Gotcha. Oh boy, what a fun game. That's it. Johnson's Tartar Bird. Go, Spartan. Alright, the first one is Opilla Bird. The first two are Opilla Bird. Hurry up, Opilla Bird. Go faster. Okay, so when I have to beat Opilla Bird, I shouldn't beat him by that much. I should, like, barely win. Perfect, perfect. I gotta barely beat a pillow bird. Just a little bit. There we go. Now slow. Slow it back down. Right? Oh no, it's green again. Okay, now I gotta slow it down. Slow it down. It'd be more fun if you could, like, steer a tartar bird. Like, there was, like, a driving mechanic here. Drive Opilla. My turn. My turn to take the lead. It's my time to shine. Oh god, Opilla, speed up. Are you just controlling the speed? Yeah, I'm only controlling the speed of the bird, nothing else. Speed is the only control input I have. What are you doing? Why are you going that way? Opilla, hurry up. Thank you. How long is this? Now it's my time. Keep it up, a pillow bird. How long is this part, dude? Can we be done? Whew, we made it to the void. Now we should be safe from the red guy. Yeah, there's the red guy. Hi. You can run away. The smell, the smell of your, of your pancreas will always draw me towards you. Yeah, get crushed by Jumbo Josh. Come on. Just let Jumbo Josh crush him. His most predictable piece of crap game ever. Hey, Jumbo Josh. Hi. Kill him. Kill Garten of Ban Ban. You can do it. Punch him. Yeah. Kill. Fight. Kill him. Yeah. Okay. Good. Ban Ban has been murdered. Thank God. So is Opilla Bird my friend now? Opilla Bird was killing me. I thought Opilla Bird was my nemesis, but I, I guess Opilla Bird is my friend now. Stop it, you two. No, don't kill Jumbo Josh. Don't do it. No, Jumbo Josh. Yeah, kill him. Rip his eyeball out. What? Oh no, Tartar Bird fell. Opilla Bird, what are we gonna do? Oh, Opilla Bird just jumped off a cliff. Okay. Well, that's my cue to leave, I think. That was a cool, epic ending. I bet you an upload of that ending by itself has 3 million views on YouTube. Find the kingdom. Find the sheriff. Do not let the jester find you. Uh-oh. Oh, oh it's the baby Opilla. Good. Baby Opilla survived. Let's go, baby Opilla. Let's go towards Garten of Ban Ban 4, which I will not be playing because this is one of the worst game series I've had the displeasure of playing. This, this sucks. I'm not playing the next one. Or am I? Hmm, should I play Ban Ban 4? It's gonna have Sheriff Toadster. Sheriff Toadster will be in it. Yes, I'm thinking no. I'm thinking maybe I won't play Ban Ban 4. I'm thinking I won't do that. You should? I don't think I should.
I genuinely thought you enjoyed the game. Are you insane? You must have not seen my first Ban Ban stream, dude. My, my first Ban Ban stream was just torture. It was just torture. It was so, it's so bad. Excellent acting skills. Okay, now you're acting. Now you're the one acting. If you do, I'll move up my bridge appointment. Mm -hmm. Gotta do it for the views. I don't think Garten of Ban Ban is gonna get many views. It is my Halloween special in lieu of Poppy's Playtime, though. It was I wanted it to be Poppy Playtime. Poppy Playtime is a hilarious Halloween game, but alas, there's no Poppies to play. Can we get an Opilla Bird emote? Yeah, we need a shrieking Opilla Bird emote. That's what we need. Definitely missed the first stream. Okay, yeah, you didn't see me rage quit on that turtle guy. That turtle guy was pure torture, pure torment. Hmm. Upload the VOD? Uh, I don't know. It's not, it's not pretty. No one's going to watch a vid where you only complete three out of the complete quadrility. True. What is the word for like five? You can use my drawing as an emote. Okay, we can always remember Opilla Bird for all time. All right, I have no choice. I got to drive. I got to take my mind off this and drive. This is the first time of ever launching this game, so we'll see how it goes. Pentology. Okay, Pentology. Gotcha. Sucks Software. Ambitious name for your company. The music's going to be loud? Okay. Plug your ear holes. Do you want to allow automatic checking for game news? I guess. Enable image spotlight? Sure. Oklahoma. Oh, it's loud. Oh, you're right. It's loud. I don't want to go to the web page. Where's the settings? Turn it down. Where's the volume slider? Turn it way down. Okay, there we go. Much better. All right. Uh, continue game. How do I have a continue? I haven't played this. Uh, I guess I'll do... Oh, I have a gamepad. I can use the control mummer. Yeah, there we go. Uh, simple driving. Simple driving. Blacked out one time and streamed this for six hours. Mm -hmm. Current job, salt in Sacramento. Here we are in beautiful Las Vegas, Sacramento. Ringus Trucking is now hiring. All right, I'll ask Wilbur for a job. I know I've played European Truck Simulator. I don't think I ever played American, though. Yeah, welcome to American Truck Sim. At last, you have the chance to experience your dream job. Deliver this salt to the farmer. Okay, now we're on Route 179. Current job is still salt. That was a good loading screen of the overpass. Look, it's the Elder Scrolls 6 trailer in the background there. You can kind of see it. All right, this American truck ain't gonna simulate itself. Let's go, Peter Built. Yeah, Peter Built. Is there a third person or just first person? Whoa, okay. All right, let's go, Peter Built. How do I honk? I turn the engine off. How do I honk? There we go. How to turn the radio on? I gotta get the radio. Gotta get some AM talk shows. Hello there, Gateman. Don't mind my large turn. It's gonna be large too. It's not gonna be a small turn. Oh, oh. Okay, I did it. How do you drive these in real life? This is too hard. Gotta find the caffeine button, yeah. 
Mac truck dealer discovered. Okay, cool. I can buy a new ride. Turning carefully. Here we go. You probably got to obey traffic laws in a driving sim. All right, where's the radio button? There's got to be a radio button, right? What the? Halloween Fields background has been applied. <laughs> Why are there skeletons? Is that me? Why is that my picture? Save and load. Ra yeah, radio. There we go. Radio. Turn it on. Put your songs into the documents. No, radio stream. Okay, got to put your own music in there to turn the radio on. Oh, well. I must have had a save in this game before, but I, I literally bought this game yesterday. So I don't have a save in it. So I don't know where it's pulling that save data from. Oh, that's too fast. Oh, boy. Ooh. Almost cost the company millions there. What is that? Is that a good store? Any caffeine in there? We got a red light. Hang on. Red light. Red light. I can't see the... <laughs> I can't see the light. Can I lean forward? Is there a lean forward option? I guess that light right there is also red. Give me a car. Just give me a car. That's all I want. I don't want to drive this giant truck. I must deliver this Ferrari. Okay, I think I gotta get onto the highway down here. If only this is in VR. I'm sure there's a VR mod for it. You can switch camera with D-pad up. Oh, I love you. Oh, you can have a top cam. A <laughs> shmup cam. I love shmup cam. It's my favorite cam. Okay, hang on. Back to back. No, stop. Okay. In this game, you can literally wait for red lights. So immersive. Please turn green. There we go. Right, I think I'm turning onto the highway up here. This is a very good game. This game is great. This game rules. I tried to play European trucks in, but they're on the wrong side of the road, so I couldn't do it. I'm getting every red, man. This sucks. This sucks. Okay, it's green. Let's go, Walbert trucking. Forwards. This is like playing GTA and obeying every traffic law, except that's the whole game. It's not like a funny joke you're doing. All right, stay in the lane. There we go. Oh, I, got, I have to. I have to get hit by the train, right? I have to. I have to. Got to do it. <laughs> Got to do it. No, don't shut me out. Don't shut me out. Ah. No. No, 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 no. Hang on. Can I still get on there? Back it up. How do I back up? Is there no reverse? There we go. All right, get me on there. Get me on there. Go forward. Get me on there, please. No, I'm gonna miss it. No, it's right there. Oh, I missed the train. Oh, this game sucks. This game sucks. I hate this game. How do you back up, dude? There we go. Okay, sorry, traffic. My bad, my bad. Keep the wipers on in all weather, yeah. Uh-oh, uh-oh, that's not good. Oh, hang on. You don't, don't, I have to, I gotta I got go this way. This is where my HUD says. Red light violation minus $140. <laughs> One hit star. <laughs> How many stars do you get in American Truck Sim? All right, go forward. Let's go. Harbor Boulevard, the site of my first kill. You're watching Jackknife Gaming. Bingo, right? That's the delivery spot. Do I win? 
How, when do I win? Do I gotta put it? Do I gotta put it in the thing? Do I drive it here? All right, here's your salt delivery. Here you go. Fill her up. All right, fill her up. How do you win? Oh, I'm gonna hit that guy's car. Oh no, I went the wrong way. Oh no, 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 no. Oh boy, that's not good. Trailer damage 8%. Detach the thing? Yeah, maybe, I don't know how though. I don't know what button would do that. Decoupling, there we go. Perfect. Oh, dude, I'm gonna be so fast. I'm gonna be so fast with it decoupled. Oh, yeah. Look at my speed now. It's our first day on the job. You know how it is. There you go. Hope you guys enjoy that delivery. Courtesy of uh, Wilbur's Trucking. And now it's time to hit. Oh, I can't hit the open road. Why is there an invisible wall? Come on. I want to hit the open road. Where's the mod for the tank? How do you get the APC in this game? Do I gotta re-hook it up and like park it over there? All right, let's couple it up. Hang on, let me maneuver. Ow. This could take a while. That counts, right? That's close enough? That's got more trailer damage. Alright, hook it up. Come on. What button hooks it back up? All I'm doing is accruing more damage to my trailer. How do I turn the quest in? Give me the... I need this to get this thing back on my truck, but there's not enough room to maneuver here. That should be good, right? That should be good. Oh, I turned the wrong way. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's not enough space to maneuver here. I really let the trailer go in the worst possible spot. Oh, the train is back. Oh, I'm so tempted by the train. You gotta have the cargo though. The train has to hit the cargo. I never got them coupled. I guess put it at the green spot. That's my assumption. We'll see if it rings true. Hold on to your hat, SUV. Things are about to get crazy. Crash vehicle offense. Yeah, 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 whatever. Just trying to deliver this salt to the farmers. The farmers need this to grow the crops. They can't do it without my help. Alright, park it here. Handle job delivery. Sorry I'm in a hurry now, skip. Yeah, I don't need any XP, I don't care. Alright. I got some XP. Can I have the open world now, please? I just I just want to explore California. That's what I want to do. I want to run into trains all across California. Truck headquarters. Pretty basic garage. Unfortunately, you have nothing. Once you earned enough money and bought a truck, you'll be able to move in the world freely and run your own business. Oh, so I, I gotta grind jobs for the crappiest dude ever? Great market. Okay, get hired as a professional driver. Who's gonna hire me? Let's see. Bituman, frozen food. What pays the most? Just give me the highest paying job. Give me the super duper cash. Okay, the highest paying job is this one. This one's worth 6,000. 
Let's do it. Take jab. Deliver in the mix tank. Thank you pick me up from work. Yeah, I'll swing by. Oh, God. This looks like it'll blow up big time if I hit something. This looks like it will cause a mass casualty if I crash. Hang on. The red, the red line's over there. Let's just take a shortcut. Screw it. Shortcut time. Shortcut, baby. What? That blocks a truck? Come on. That does not block a truck. That does not block the truck. This game sucks. You knock over the road sign. Let them know how you feel. Yeah, let them know how you feel. That's how I feel. California fences. Mm -hmm. They're strong. California fences. Alright, here we go. On the road. On the road again. What the? Oh, this is my map. I gotta go all the way up and turn around and go all the way down to Oakland? Oh, man. I gotta see the A's before they move to Vegas. Can you sing a driving-related song? Uh... I've been working on the railroad. Is that a driving song? It's like a train song. Sharp bend ahead. Here we go. <laughs> cactus driving, yeah. Cactus driving, but if you crash into the cactus, you die. Oh, hello, cement mixer. Look out. I got a heavy load coming through. That's his fault. That's his fault. I got a new email. Probably a new email saying, why'd you crash into that cement mixer? Look, I'm sorry, boss. It's not my fault. Oh, tractor. I want the tractor. I am hurtling. I am hurtling down the road. This is very unsafe. Look at all those farm fields. I'm just going to swerve dangerously. That sounds fun. Yeah, it's pretty fun. Okay, so now I have a feel for how big the map is. It's a decently sized map, I guess. It's the entire USA, so you know, it's okay. Got an okay size. I'm not stopping at the stop sign. Think I care about that? There's no light. There's no camera to give me a ticket. They don't got AIs. Look out. Don't hit my heavy load. All right, let's go on North 5. Right turn on red, baby. It's allowed. This is legal. What? It's a right turn on red. You're allowed to do that. Was there a sign? Is there a no turn on red sign? Stupid game. Oh, here we go. Got on the freeway. This is where the real speed begins. Speed limit 70? Yeah, crank up the speed. Yeah, crank it up. This is the dream right here. Take up both lanes. There we go. Now nobody can pass me and hit me. I'm taking up both lanes. Ah, this is the life. If I wasn't a streamer, this is what I'd be doing. I'd be driving trucks all around, trying to run into the train tracks. I gotta pass this guy. This guy's going way too slow, dude. This is why you work for Bushnell, and I work for Chemicals Incorporated. You're going too slow. You're not going to get the delivery there in time. Oh, the cops pulled that guy over. <laughs> Don't worry about me, cops. Oh, no. Oh, God, the cops are coming. Are they coming? I, I think I just got hit by a speed trap. I don't think they're actually going to chase me. GTA style. I'm never going to buy my own truck if I accrue, like, $1,000 of penalties for every mile I drive. This could be a long process. 
Hey, it's a bus. Hi, bus. Oh, look, look at this. Look at this up here. What are you guys doing? What are you guys doing up here? You gotta give me an opening. There's no opening. I'll make my own opening. I don't play by the rules of the road. <laughs> Later. <laughs> we call that one the median method. That's how it's done. Road eight. Is that a Wendy's? That was one of those signs that says food is ahead. I should have read what food's ahead. I'm kind of hungry. Take my truck through McDonald's. This game is good, actually. This game is really good. Oh, there's the there's the donut shop. There's Dunkin' Donuts. There's a food shop. The final level should be driving Lightning McQueen to the Piston Cup. Yeah, he did what in his cup? Out of the way, motorist. Oh, that was my exit. Hang on. Getting off here at the old San Fran. All right, sharp turn. Good luck, buddy. We'll both take this turn together or you'll die. He's deceased. $180, that's not bad. That's not bad for killing someone. It's basically free, honestly. El Camino Avenue, Breaking Bad? There's a bunch of beds. I wonder if like sleeping's actually a mechanic. Does my driver actually have stamina? Oh, that was my bad. Trailer damage two percent. It's fine. Oh, oh, the harvester. I want to drive that. I want to drive the harvester into the train tracks, dude. That's what I really want to do. To be honest, that's my true calling. You need to sleep for longer hauls, dang. It's an immersive game. Jesse, we need to drive across the United States, Jesse. Mr. White. I accrued $500 of fees, Mr. White. Yeah, I have $285 left in my bank. I think I just automatically pay all that stuff out whenever I hit somebody. So if I have another accident during this delivery, I'm going to be in the red and not able to keep functioning. You think nobody would hire me after my performance, but maybe they would because of how fast I'm going. Like, yeah, there he there was a few casualties, but he got us our chemicals so fast. I gotta get gas. I need a gas station. Oh no! Oh, that was close. Is that gas? Oh no, it's a toll. Ha uh ha. -huh. Yeah, pay the toll. I'm going on the bridge. Oh, can you drive off the bridge into the ocean? Probably not. There's no way, right? There's no way you can just go off the bridge. Well, time for that bridge appointment. That little barrier is not going to stop me. Oh, it stopped me. Dang it. Stay left at Oakland. When is the next GTA going to come out and have a map as big as this game? That's what they gotta do. Where am I in my delivery path? How far did I go? How do I open up the the map HUD? What button is map? I have no idea. Now I'm, I I shouldn't have slowed down. Now I'm going so slow. Oh, I'm getting passed by that guy. Oh, that's pissing me off. How dare you pass me? You're lucky I'm really slow. I'll build up speed eventually. Just you wait. Don't even think about it, John Deere. This is my road. Stay off. Right now I have $100 left. F5. That made the map look different. Okay, there, there we go. Big map. I'm not even past San Fran yet? Oh my god, dude. This game is realistic. I'm committed now. You're just over halfway. 
home. We're halfway there. Whoa, trucking on a prayer. I hope I don't need fuel before this run is done. Look, an ad for trucks. Turn your dreams into a reality. Be a trucker today. If I run out of gas, what do I do? I just die? Does the game delete itself? Hmm, yeah, it's quite scenic indeed. Ooh, my exit. Here we go. He's just got to cushion my turn. -na 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 -na. Oh, boy. Hang on, I haven't accrued any punishable fines yet. If I bump into that guy, I will, so I gotta be careful here. Gotta watch how I play this. Come on, come on, yeah, simple geometry. That's how it's done. Toll ahead, oh my god. Haven't I paid enough fines already? I gotta go through the toll booth too. This is a survival horror game. Fast track only. I'm fast track for sure, right? I got fast track on this bad boy. The company that hired me will give me fast track. Total of $25. Paid by employer. Nice, nice, nice. Look at this nice bridge. Look at those cargo boats. Look at those Call of Duty shipments out there. What's the what's the shipment 24/7 equivalent for American Truck Simulator? Like Walmart parking lot delivery from one end of the parking lot to the other one? There's the water purification, maybe. That maybe is what that is. I don't know. It's big, it's round, it's got pipes. It's as good as a guess as a layman like me is going to give you. San Francisco discovered. Wow, I discovered it. I'm the first guy to ever be here. Here we are on the White Gate Bridge. The famous White Whiten Gate Bridge of San Francisco. Known for its white color. Oh god, that's all oh, this is a big loop. Hang on, I need first person for this. To be locked into the zone. Visit service. Oh no, my car got blown up. Full house theme. Why is it not red though? For real. Why is it not red? Is it like a licensing thing? You have to license the Golden Gate Bridge. Like the Eiffel Tower. Oh, don't turn. Oh. Wait, I can turn on red. Although last time I got fined for turning on red, so I don't even know. That's okay, it's green. I'll be fine. Where's the Coliseum? Not a very busy traffic day here in Oakland. Nice pleasant day on the water. Every one mile in game equals 20 IRL. Is that real? Is it true? It's a pretty impressive scale then. Cease and desist from San Fran, yeah. Oh no, my money. Now I'm at negative $75. You know what? I don't care though. I don't even care because I'm going to make six grand off this. Because it just pays the fines whenever they happen. So I'll be fine. I'm currently in debt to that guy I just killed. I owe his family money. Don't worry, once I deliver these chemicals, I'll be able to pay you out, don't worry. Nowhere to go but up, mm-hmm. Or into the water, can I go in the water? Oh, it almost let me. Hey, you ever hear the one about the truck stuck on the side of the road?
Hey, okay, don't, don't mind me, guys. I got this. There's a tree right here, though, that's really not helping. Yeah, I'll, I'm good. I'll, I'll figure it out. I'll land on my feet. Don't worry. Just got to get back onto the highway somehow. This is not great. If you cannot start moving, maybe differential lock could help you use V to activate. What did it do? I got to straighten out then back up, but I can't straighten out because of the invisible wall right here. No, don't, don't turn that way. What are you doing? Let's get going. Come on. We're moving. We're moving in the right direction very slowly. Extremely slowly, like so slow. And we lost all the, we lost it all. Okay. This could take like 10 actual minutes. Yeah, is there a unstuck button? Is there a save me button? Can a friendly motorist help me out, please? I could use a bail out here. Maybe I can dodge and weave between these trees, actually. Nope, I can't. The hill's gonna knock me down. I think I'm just stuck. Press F7, then enter to call for emergency services. You'll be taken to a service station. Tow service. Take me there. Tow me. $1,000. Oh, my God. Fine. $1,000? Come on, dude. It's a ripoff. That's a scam, and you know it. Stupid Kenworth 100 limited edition. Wait, paint your truck. Yeah, paint the truck. Truck configuration. Oh my god, there's so many upgrades for your truck. Hmm, do I spend the money I don't have to make my truck a rainbow truck? I think yes, right? Oh, oh here we go. Yeah, that. I want that one. Oh, it's not actually a rainbow. Dang, that sucks. Give me a red. Give me a red truck. I can't buy it. I can't buy it because I have negative seventy-five dollars. Do you want to cancel modifications? Yeah, I can't afford them yet. All right, what was I doing? I was delivering the chemicals to the Chemical Brothers. Where are these guys at? Help me out, GPS. Where'd the GPS go? The GPS is gone. The GPS has despawned. GPS, where did you go? Give me my map back. There we go. I went the wrong way. Oh, you gotta be joking. Trailer damage, uh-huh. That was that guy's fault. Come on, he ran right into me. He ran right into me. That's on him. I gotta make a big turn, green guy. You're gonna need to move out of the way. Oh, I'll just use this big old field to turn, actually. And if you look to your left, you can see a scenic truck turning around in a field. A public landmark with surprisingly clean restrooms. All right, into the fence. There we go. Now we gotta twist them. Not that way. Other way. Other way. Other way. Other way. Oh, hang on. Maybe? 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 Nah. I think I might have it here, though. And the pendulum turns. Green guy, get out of the way. Oh, my God, dude. Thinks he's so important with his chemicals tank. Keep going. Give us some more muscle. There we go. Blue car, you better back up, dude. I would have not been guilty if he got hit. Okay, back on the road again. Ouch.
think I'm using the back up button more than the go forward button. Look, it's the Hotel California. Yeah, you can check out anytime you want. Can you sing Ragnar the Red? You're listening to 81.2 Country Hits. Up next, Ragnar the Red. Oh, there once was a cowpoke named Ragnar the Red who came right into White Run from Old Roark's Dale. And the braggart did swagger and brandish his blade as he told of the battles and foes he had slain. You can check out any time you want, but the parking lot is really difficult to get out of if you're not a good driver. Welcome to the Hotel California. All right, fast track me, baby. Fast track me. Oh, I'm not. I'm not gonna make it through there. Oh, there we go. Ooh. Oh, I'm all. I'm all the way back here. Oh, I lost all my San Fran progress. I should not have tried to drive my truck into a river. Engine malfunction. Malfunction? Is it? Is it gonna stop? It stopped working. Come on, truck, go. Stop malfunctioning. <laughs> Company had to pay twice. Yeah. All right, why don't we get 10 poles or 10 tolls on the same gate? And right, come on, engine, stop malfunctioning. What if I just leave the chemicals here and go rogue? What if I just steal the truck? What are they going to do, hunt me down? Oh, my truck is so slow now. Okay, there we go, speed's coming back. The speed's returning. Oh, it sucks, though. It can't, it can't get no speed. Yeah, why did the towing service take me all the way back here? You took me the wrong direction, towing service. That's on them. That's their problem. <laughs> that, that's the getting killed by a truck. Getting killed by an oncoming truck camera angle. That's a good one. And here we go, the roundabout returns. Oh, this guy's here too. You jerk. Me when car has problem but no money. Mm -hmm. Yeah, my car is gonna blow up, but I'll I'll just hope it's okay. It'll be fine. Move it. I'll show you how to haul chemicals. I'll show you how to take this ramp. Is every green arrow on the mini map one mile? Is that what the arrows mean? I think so. Yeah. So you can count the arrows to know how much. So I needed to get through 90 more arrows in order to deliver these goods. Move it. Oh my god. Oh my god. Get out of the way. I'm done trucking around. Alright, this time I will not drive into the river. Your dashboard has every single warning light on it, huh? Let's see. Service engine soon. Gotta check the tire pressure. Engine malfunction again. Oh, it's, it's going to just keep giving out on me. Oh, you stupid engine. Not a good time, engine. Pass these guys. These guys suck. Pass them. They're wasting my time. A fee? Oh, come on. Driving in the wrong lane fee? Says when is that a crime? Says who? Oh, God, tree. I couldn't even see that tree. Since when is driving into oncoming traffic with a truck a crime, huh? Says who? Classic California, dude. That's classic liberal California with their laws, their anti-business laws. Yeah, I am running out of fuel. The fuel is red. Oh, there once was a fuel gauge named Fuel Gauge the Red. You turn the radio up, then you can't hear the problems. It's a pretty good solution. I've employed that one in the past. Our customer expects a delivery very soon. That's not good, because they're not going to get it. I was playing, like, countdown music. Uh, they're not going to get it very soon. Oh, hang on. Oh, man. I got to hurry. 
This sounds like Ace Combat music. This sounds like Mobius 1's about to engage. What the heck? Why wasn't this playing the whole time? This is great. It really does sound like Ace Combat tunes. I should play this game with Ace Combat music on the radio. That'd be good. All right, I'm 50 arrows away. Don't worry, I'm coming. I would check when this delivery is due by, but if I check, that'll cost more time, so I can't do it. I just gotta gun it. Do you see any engine malfunctions from up here, buddy? Turn the lights back on. Why'd the lights turn off? Oh, my engine died again. All right, can we get the lights back on, please? Yeah, car's behind me. Just just drive behind me and let me use your light. Let me borrow your light. All right, what button turns the lights back on? There we go. All right, hurry up, truck. Build up speed again and make sure to block both lanes. If I'm not getting there on time, no one is. Thirty-six arrows left. They go by so slowly. Look at that guy. I got pulled over by a cop. Hey, what are you doing? What are you trying to pass me? That's it. I'm, I'm taking up the center lane. I'm doing it. No one else passes me. You hear me? Good thing the truck's owned by the company. Yeah, this is their problem. It wasn't specifically written in the contract that if I drive the truck into the lake, it's deducted from my pay. Should have specified that before you let me loose. I'm going to be out of fuel, dude. I'm going to have to call fuel and be late on my delivery. Oh, there it is. The flag is on the radar. Repeat, the flag is on the radar. The eagle has landed. They need these chemicals. And I'm going to get them to them. Here's my exit. Hang on. It's going to be a bumpy landing in Santa Cruz. No time to stop. Can't lose momentum. Engine malfunction. No. Not now. Not when I'm so close. Come on. Get me there. Victory is within my grasp. Is that it? No, it's the next one. Santa Cruz discovered. All right, nice. Get out and push. It's our only hope. Would it help if I got out and pushed? It might. There it is, Rust. Oh, I'm delivering it to Rust. Nice. I got to give Modern Warfare Rust the chemicals. All right, here you go. Here you go, Rust. Here's your chemicals for your chemical weapon theme kill streaks. Another job well done. Reasonable. Hey, reasonable. Okay, not bad. Made $4,000. Killed less than a dozen people. And I leveled up. All in all, a good day's work. Skill point in hazardous cargo, long distance, high value cargo. I'll go high value. That sounds good. I'm a high value employee. It's a good skill point. Why? Why is that my picture? Can I change my picture? Can I change my ID at all? What is Nah Man? It's got to be like an account I had on Euro Truck Sim. Maybe Euro Truck Sim and America Truck Sim are the same EXE. And that's why it like saved my Euro Truck account, maybe. Garage manager, yeah, I can't buy a truck store. How much does a truck cost, I wonder? What's it cost to buy a truck? Truck dealers. What does a truck even go for? I don't even know. This feature is for trusted customers only. Screw you. Trusted customers only. You need, to, you need to own at least three trucks? Where am I going to buy a truck from if nobody will sell me one? i got to find the sketchiest truck dealer in America. 
Right, so I went from like there to there, I think. On the California coastline. Okay, here's my question is why is this game actually good? Need money? We can help. All the bank will give me a loan. Nice. Your account is overdrawn. Brand new Peterbilt's for sale. Visit the showroom in Reno. I'd love to. But you won't let me in. Do you really want to travel to Reno and visit the truck dealer? Yeah, is it fast travel? Do I got to drive there? Oh, no. Here I am. Nice. All right, what do you cost? What's a truck cost? 112000 I can't afford that. Dude, how do you even buy a truck? How do you even buy an Optimus Prime? These are way too expensive. The maximum Optimus Prime is 185000 That's cheap for a truck? Yeah, I don't care. I can't buy it. Where's cheat engine? How do I cheat? Do you really want to leave? Yeah, I want to leave. Eastern USA is still undiscovered. Yeah, it might be a DLC. There's a million DLCs. There might be an East Coast Adventures DLC. Let's see. DLCs are Texas. We got a uh, Colorado. Wow, Colorado is like three times less than Texas. Screw you, Colorado. Dang. Drive a helicopter. Uh, tuning pack. Steampunk paint job. What the heck? I want a, I want a steampunk truck. I want a Load King Prestige. Cabin accessories. Ha oh, dude, you can get a hamburger. Look at this. This is vital. This is vital DLC. You have to have this. Oh, USA hat. Oh, yeah. You can have a burger. You can get a burger on the dashboard. 10 out of 10. I like how it's an epic DLC for like adding garbage to your car. Now you can pay $1.99 to simulate leaving the McDonald's bag inside of your truck. And you know what? That's pretty compelling. I kind of want that. Oh, Oklahoma's not done yet. Oh, my God. Well, no, Oklahoma's upcoming. Or is Oklahoma done? I don't know. Maybe Oklahoma's still work in progress. They have Colorado, New Mexico, Arizona. What about uh, Washington? Is that not done? Oh, map expansions. Let's see how many map expansions they have. They got Montana, Washington, Idaho. Well, they got all of them, dude. Oklahoma? New Mexico, Texas, Wyoming, Utah, Colorado, Oregon, Arizona. Okay, yeah, the East Coast is uncharted waters. No one's ever been to the East Coast. No one ever will. So it's Rocky Mountains, man. Can't cross them. Too hard to cross. Energy drink reviews in your truck. Yeah, Opera Man Fitness DLC. Uh, I gave this delivery job a 9 out of 10. There were a few fatalities along the way, but it was fine overall. So yeah, American Truck Sim, actually very good game. I couldn't get into European Truck Sim because I don't know how Europe works, but I know how USA works. There, that's USA right there, baby. There it is. Yeah, Red Dead Redemption. Kansas is coming next. Oh, Kansas is the new one? All right, there you go. Mods? Yeah, I'm sure there's mods. Is there a Steam Workshop? All right, where, where's the entire United States Steam Workshop? Where's it at? Where's that at? I know it exists, right? It's got to. How do I view the workshop for it? Go to the workshop. Oh, my God. Steam. There we go. All right, what's the, what's the top rated all time? Give me the old top rated all time. We got the Kenworth... So Optimus Prime is top rated. Sound effects fixes. Walmart. Dude, Walmart. Hang on, where's the Walmart? There was a Walmart in the trailer. Show me Walmart. Oh, this is too long of a video. They got 76. They got American gas. Where's the Walmart? Where's the Walmart? 
Burger King. Dude, they got Burger King. <laughs> the, the bow toe, yeah. I can actually listen to the bow show at Walmart Radio, and it'll be immersive. Oh, they got McDonald's. Oh, this is the best game ever. Oh, why, dude, why is it when you hit back on Steam, it goes all the way back to your library? Nobody has ever wanted the back button to do that in history. No one in history has ever wanted that. Real advertisements, realistic lighting, air brake sound effect mod, longer yellow lights, real traffic density. Oh, I would hate that. Don't want that one. All right, where is the, uh, where's the ads, the entire continental United States mod? Is that not a mod? Type, where's map? AI traffic, game economy, graphics, model, models, maybe? Other types? Finding undiscovered roads, realistic vehicle colors, what? No damage, more realistic finds, oh god, why does it have four stars? Massive Moon Ace Shadow, thanks for subscribing, get yeah, all the mods, make it a whole new game, yeah. I'll just load it up and have like 10,000 trucks. You think you could keep the trucks for me? Did you really think that would work? Yeah, we're, come on, where's the entire USA mod? There's got to be a mod that adds the entire USA, right? Map. I'll search for map. Google Maps navigation. There you go. Pro Mods Complete North American Background Map. Okay, it's a, does that mean it's a... Is it drivable, or is it just like a HUD? Okay, it's just a HUD. It's not a map mod. This will not add any new maps or cities. Tested with Pro Mod. Okay, so Pro Mod. Pro Mod is where you get the map. Do they? Oh, they probably don't allow that. Uh -huh. Yeah, they probably don't allow that on the workshop. They probably don't allow you to make DLC states because they want to sell you it. Yeah, they're not going to let somebody make Oklahoma because they want to sell you Oklahoma. But knowing Truck Simulator, Oklahoma definitely exists on the internet somewhere. Mod DB it is. Mm, Nexus Mods. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so there is an entire mod. Well, stay tuned for the Obo Shoes Game Truck Simulator arc. I'm thinking maybe two... Two, three years we'll spend on that one. But right now, Caffeine Man has posted an interesting looking video. That I am eager to watch. No, McMichael, I did not watch you. I saw you asking. He posted this. He posted, turn powders into carbonated drinks using Soda Stream. Hey, everyone, Caffeine Man. He's going to teach you how to make your own C4. Is that even allowed? Can they do that? man here and today we're going to be using the soda stream to make any of your powdered products into a carbonated product so if you're looking to make iced tea or crystal light or you wouldn't download a c4 he's gonna show he's gonna show us how to pirate energy drinks Kool -Aid, your g fuel your c4 smart powders or any of your powders into a carbonated beverage i'll show you that coming right up Hello again, everyone. Thank you so much for joining me today, where I go over everyday energy for everyday people. It's primarily energy drink reviews, but I do the occasional caffeinated product and caffeine safety video. I post videos every Tuesday night and one on the weekends. And in today's video, you can see it right here. I am going to be using the soda stream to make a powdered drink into a carbonated drink. And for my example today, I'm actually going to be using the C4 Smart Energy Powder. And not only that, but I'm actually going to compare it to the C4 Smart yeah, Energy Can to see how close the can taste to the carbonated powder I'm going to be making to That's see how close they actually are to each other. Without further ado, let's jump right in and make some of the C4 Smart Energy Powder into a carbonated drink. I have the 14 pack right here. They do actually sell them in bags of 20 as well. These are what the package look like. Yeah, this is actually an energy drink. It's a nootropic energy drink. It's going to have 200 milligrams of natural caffeine, as well as ingredients like cognizant and acetylcholine to help with focus and balance out the jittery feelings of caffeine to give you a nice clean energy. It is recommended that you use 12 ounces of liquid. So I'm actually going to be using 8 ounces of liquid because when you're using the soda stream, you want to have cold water in there. You're going to get the best flavor from the carbonation when you use cold water. So I'm going to use 8 ounces of regular water, but then I'm going to put in 4 ounces of ice so that I have 12 ounces of cold water. Just makes things easier in the long run. Time use some olive water. Gotta use the good stuff. Even if you have good tap water, sure the big companies use pure filtered, super duper water. I'm then going to add the powder before I add the ice. That way it can dissolve. Good Why not shake it up before it gets cold? Best chance of it dissolving the best. Nice really shake. only needs a few seconds. The stuff dissolves really quick. Add the ice cubes. Transfer it over to the bottle. There's a lot of different this kinds is, of soda streams. This is very they all have the same basic principle. I'm going to push There's back on this little lever here. That pushes out the carbonation stick thingy that carbonates it. That's the technical term. Put the bottle in. Alright, fill her up. 
Then just push down the bar to get the amount of carbonation that you desire. I'm gonna go for medium carbonation. Don't like them too strong. Medium to high. Oh my god. It's, it's splashing. Splash zone, look out, Caffeine. This is my first time using it, so you think that I would want to do a trial run or something first, but I like to do everything for the first time on camera with you guys, and now you can see that it exploded, and uh, it's not supposed to do that, but uh, if it did actually carbonate it, then, then I don't really have to redo it. Let's find out. Let's see, did it blow them up? Did it carbonate it? carbonated. Ah. I'm just going to do all that again, jump cut it, I'll see you in a second. All right, guys, take two. I wanted to make it seem like I was all professional and knew what I was doing, but, but I'm an amateur, okay? The gig is up, I am an amateur soda streamer. I'm actually an amateur streamer, too. I only do it once a month, not very good at it. But energy drink reviews, good at that. Well, let's try it again. One might say he's in that, top that's of the good. field that is in good. that category. Solid. Oh my god. You guys to jump cut out all that other stuff, then I will seem like I'm a professional. I don't like that sound, do that. I'm gonna be honest. Not a good sound. There we go. Nice level of carbonation. Pour it into a cup to get that carbonation going. Clear your color. There. All right, let's go ahead. Let's taste it out. Mm. All right, that's good. It's a little lighter in carbonation than I think the can is, but I prefer a lighter carbonation, even though it was on two. If I went to three, it would probably match the can. That flavor is very similar to the can from the best of my recollections. But why recollect stuff? Who knows? Everyone knows Caffeine Man's got a bad memory. So let's go ahead. Let's compare this to the can. Here's the can. Can color. Clear color. What's the clear color here? Yep, there it is. Taste it out. All right, actually, it is a little bit different. I'm getting that solid peach mango flavor in both of them. I think this one is giving me a touch more sweetness. So why don't we go ahead? Let's do the side by side. Definitely more carbonated. And the carbonation is giving it a little bit of a lighter feel, but I think the strength is also a little bit lighter, just a touch lighter than the strength of this one. I think the can is a touch sweeter and a touch stronger in that peach mango flavor. Now, I did my review on this drink. This is actually my top rated peach mango flavor of all the energy drinks. And it's because it has that solid peach mango flavor, a really nice amount of sweetness to complement it, and a refreshing flavor. This carbonated one that I just made is still really, really good. So, so this one is a seems, touch less sweet than this one. It seems like the can is just better, right? And the flavor is a touch less strong. So this one's scoring 9.75 on the Caffeine Man rating chart. So I would have to say that this is about a 9.2 because okay, it is still a great solid flavor. It's just a little bit lighter than this one overall. Only and obviously you can always away. play around with the math for more or less flavor. Maybe I could have gone with six ounces of water and two to four ounces of ice to get a stronger flavor like this. I could have increased the carbonation on here to make it stronger like this. And maybe that carbonation would have brought it up closer to this one for flavor as well. But some of you like lighter flavors. So if this isn't light enough for you, you add just a little bit more water. You get a nice light, refreshing peach mango flavor. But overall, these are pretty similar. So good job to C4 for using the same formula in both products, their carbonated product and their powdered product. And if you're interested in trying these products, you can actually check out the C4 Energy website or Cellucor website, and you can save at least 20% off when you use coupon code Caffeine Man. I am sponsored by C4, but that does not affect my ratings at all. I always give honest reviews on my channel, so be sure to check out more videos on my channel if you haven't already. If you are interested in any of the reviews that I did, I'm actually going to include the carbonated cans right there for you guys to click on. And if you're curious about how I rated the powders Coke on there, the yeah, I'll like put Coke. that video right there as well. They do look like they're similar fan. thumbnails, but they are different videos. So click on the one you like best after you click on that subscribe button. Thank you so much for joining me today. Until next time, have yourselves a great day. Or night. Or night. That was a bit of a different video from Caffeine Man. That was a bit of a new style. Here's his live stream. Use the influencers coupon codes, uh, so they. That's a vod from his live stream. I want that, that hoodie, dude. I need that hoodie. I gotta buy that red hoodie. I think the red might be the best color for that hoodie. It's a great color. All right, I gotta go on my DB. I gotta download all of America and do a road trip stream. That's what I gotta do. Screw playing crappy in the horror demos. What a waste of time. I gotta drive on the highway and accomplish nothing. Overwatch is free to play, really? Over <laughs> Overwhelmingly negative, that's funny. That gives me joy. Hey, speaking of indie horror, oh my god, it's Choo Choo Charlie. Don't let him get ya. He's gonna get ya. Speaking of spooky. have to know about the soda stream is that it has an infomercial if a product has an infomercial it's no good except for the scrub buddy the little that little smiley face guy that guy's pretty good he had an infomercial but mostly infomercials are just trash and don't buy them all right what do we think do we want to raid mopioid or do we want to raid seinfeld haven't raided mopioid in 10 years i guess we'll just raid mopioid I don't think we should. Okay, I said this yesterday as well, but I think tomorrow might be the YouTube stream because I got the YouTube channel membership set up, but they need 24 hours to approve it, which sucks. Come on. They need 24 hours to approve my emotes and crap, so I'm waiting on that approval. If it's approved by the time I'm going live tomorrow, then it should be a YouTube simulcast. That'd be great to YouTube simulcast truck simulator. Just, hey guys, we're just driving. We're aimlessly driving in trucks in for this stream. Uh, that's a good YouTube introduction. 
simulcast stream? Yeah, if they approve my YouTube crap, then yes, it will be a simulcast stream. You can be in both chats at once. Good heavens. The wonders of modern technology. Takes a long time to build a dumpster fire. Yeah, YouTube has to take 24 hours to review and approve my dumpster fire. Be on the mixer chat? Okay, I'll look for you there. Well, thanks for watching this chat. Thanks for like, favor, subscribing. Tune in tomorrow for... Either tomorrow is going to be like an actual game or American Truck Simulator. I kind of want to play more Truck Simulator, but we'll see. Maybe I'll play Black Ops Cold War campaign again because I played that one time. I don't know. That new Call of Duty comes out like next week, I think. I just want to see what Ghost is doing in that new Call of Duty. Well, until the next Call of Duty, I'll see you on the next Angry Ghost Show.